Hey guys, it's me, Simple Sims, also known as Lexi, and welcome back to, I think, part 18 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. So, as you can see, I kind of started the day off once everyone kind of finished school and got off work um reese is on his way home i'm gonna just have him do his homework while he's there um devin gets off work at five and angie got off work but her lectures is is so atrocious um i'm trying to have her work on that obviously um she did get her little pregnant belly in the middle of her work day um, so whenever she comes home tonight, we can have Devin find out the gender of the baby, which will be very exciting. But, um, I'm kind of, I realized that the boys grades in school were like That's super Sana. super bad before they even went to school they actually had d's um and because i kind of saw what was going on i'll show you in a second but i realized why their grades were so bad even though they were going to school and it sucks because amir graduates like very very soon he only has four days left until he's a young adult and his grades are terrible because of the fact that the people in this town have so many babies and they are just repopulating this town so, 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 so much that, um, you know what, I'll just, I'll, I'll insert a clip here and I'll just show you what, what happened. This is a lot of freaking kids. Jeez. Yeah, so that happened. And because of that, I realized, um, the kids, like, could not get into the school building. And so they've been, like, standing outside of school this whole time. So now I'll probably have to start having them go to school, like, way earlier than everyone else just to make sure that they can get in the building. So that's fun. But anyway, we're going to try inviting this chick out again. And he wants to go to the summer festival, so we might as well just see if she wants to go with us. Three hours. I mean, I guess. Okay, we'll call you back in three hours. That's fine. And Amir, I mean, oh my gosh, I don't know these kids' names. Reese wants to actually become good friends with Beatrice. So I'm going to try to do that for him, and then maybe, you know, once they're good friends, he might roll other wants for them and stuff like that so i think that would be very interesting to see kind of where he wants that relationship to go um let's have him kind of get his fun up a little bit while we're waiting and then maybe she could come over maybe we could invite her over once he's done with his work hurry hurry here we go look at that and Devin just got promoted to the very, very tippity top of the doctor career. Good for him. Good for him. I'm so proud of Devin. Started from the bottom and now we're here. Two hours. What are these kids doing that they're all busy until like seven o'clock? I just, I don't understand. I don't understand. So there is this teen girl that he now knows, but he only knows her because she was the babysitter and um, she's not really like, she's like a random townie. I would prefer him to get with someone that actually has like family in this town, but um, I mean, we'll, kinda, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. The baby was born. Oh, there's a broken shower. Who wants to fix it? Jeremy, that's fine. Ah, uh, no one can fix it right now. Why are you playing with him? Don't play with him. You go play with a dollhouse. Leave your brother's imaginary friend alone. Jeez. And speaking of brothers, I'm wondering when the heck Liam is supposed to come back. 
I don't really remember when we sent him off to boarding school, but I imagine that he wouldn't have that much longer left, you know? So, I don't know. That'll be interesting. So let's kind of speed this up a little bit. And he probably will not get to these two. Because it kind of stops them from doing their lectures like after, I think, maybe 7 or 8 o'clock. So I don't even know if she'll be able to do the next one, but we'll see. Let's pull up here. Nope. Send her home. Well, that's good. So at least we can find out the gender of the baby. And then also we're going to try to call this chick again and invite her out. He's going to get a little smelly, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. She needs to say yes, I swear. If she says no, we might be moving on. Okay, cool. Sounds like fun. But if you stand us up... Okay, Devin, go here. Go here, Devin. Hurry up, hurry up, because we need to watch Amir, too. Um, so go announce your pregnancy to him. I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on him and see if she gets there and does not stand him up. That would be amazing. Okay, so now he knows she's pregnant, so go feel her tummy. Go listen to her tummy. Jeez, they stopped moving. Uh, talk to her tummy and then determine gender of baby. Ah. Aha! She's there! She's there! Okay. Put a pin in that. I'm gonna go over here and kind of cue stuff up for them. Ask her about her career. Uh, ask sign. Ask her if she's single. Really wish we could ask her age. Let's consider her attractiveness and see if he even likes her. Um, and then back to them. Sheba. About to be the moment of truth, guys. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh. Gel. Leb gel. So much going on. Ziba do. Uh huh. What are they having? <laughs> <gasps> it's a girl. We're having another girl. Okay. I'm okay with this. I am still not 100% team baby. Team sixth baby, might I add. But, uh, I mean, Ensley gets a sister. What's a better gift that you could give a, a single daughter in a household? Whoa, her eyes look scary. Oh my. Mm. I think she has laser vision. He's a vomit dick. Oh my god. She literally has laser vision. Amir needs to be careful with this one. <gasps> Ooh, he thinks she's blindingly stunning. Yep, that's official. Taking her into create a sim immediately because this, this is the girl for him. Blindingly stunning. How much better could she get? I will be right back when she is out of create a sim. Okay, and here she is. This is what I have done to her face. Very pretty. Okay, why do they just... No, no, no. No, no. Because now... Now we have to uh, turn this into a date. May you too now that we know that she is Miss Endgame over here. And that he is just in love with her. And they're attractive. Well, <laughs> duh. 10 out of 10 attractiveness. So, of course, it's going to be attractive company. Ignore that. I'm a dumb dumb. Anywho. They're so cute. If only Amir wasn't glitched. You know? Then magical things could happen. But they can't, because he's glitched. So, tell her a joke. Let's see if she goes for the first kiss. I really don't know if she will. I really don't. Well, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. There it is. First kiss. Embrace her. Uh, I guess kiss her again now that you're comfortable. Give her a hug. And they're irresistible. So propose going steady to her. And stroke her cheek. And whisper in her ear. 
to weasel door. Okay, you want a garn. Absolutely. Completely adorable. Girlfriend. So now Amir officially is in a relationship with four days left of his teenhood. Talk about your imaginary friend. May he rest in peace. Talk about Ricky. Oh, she doesn't care? How rude. Renee, that's rude. You should really support your boyfriend's dream. Not team okay? Even if you don't believe in imaginary friends, you should just... Okay, I guess they're going home. We didn't spend much time together, but whatever. What do you mean? We spent all the time together. Girls, I tell you. You can't live with them, and you can't live without them. I tell you, man. Now, if only Reese can get the same thing. Possibly with Beatrice. Possibly not with Beatrice. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, clearly we're gonna have, like... A million more children to try to get this whole dating thing right with but I mean at least Amir found his person that's the cutest thing Amir found his person the baby's sleeping even though she's hungry and kind of stinky but scary computer oh I guess he got pranked so he needs to he needs to hurry up and read his book, and then I'm just gonna have him go to sleep. Even though he's hungry, that's kind of, I mean, oh well. <laughs> and then she's gonna go to sleep, too. And then I will pick up tomorrow. Oop, geez, sorry. Um, I'll pick up tomorrow when everyone gets off work and out of school and all of that again. Okay, guys, and the boys are home from school. Devin is home from work. And now, they're going to be some good boys and do their homework so that they can try with all their might to uh, get their grades up as good as they possibly can. Especially Amir here, because he's, he's uh, on a time limit. And he still has a C. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Reese is at least getting his grades up better. He has a B now. I don't know how he has a B and Amir doesn't and they've been doing the exact same thing. But, you know, I mean, somehow, some way, that makes sense. So, we need to have this man repair all these things in the house that are broken. Let's just double check, make sure none of these toilets are clogged. That got fixed. Um, okay, it looks like no toilets are clogged, so that's good. And, uh, I guess continue cooking that, whatever that is. And, uh, Amir still needs to- what the? Just, I know you guys saw that little, like, puff of smoke, like, what was that? Anywho. Reese wants to fix the dishwasher, so we'll leave that one for him. And let me see. Um, he has so much stuff in his inventory. We can delete these seeds. He is not going to be gardening anytime soon, at all, by any means. Uh, moon enhancer and a ghost potion. I mean. We're not really going to use the ghost potion, oh. but whatever, whatever. Actually, no. Call your girlfriend and then call your brothers because oh. no one's talked to them for like a while and I kind of feel bad about it. So call your brothers. <laughs> New baby was born, of course. What the heck do these kids do? that they're always busy until 7 o'clock. I don't understand. I do not understand at all. At all. So he's going to repair the dishwasher, hopefully by the time he's done. It's after 7, so that we can invite Beatrice to the park. So that we can kind of become good friends with her. And then we would kill two wishes with one stone. 
and that would be fantastic. So that's what we could hope for. He made food, good for him. He wants to do the laundry. So do it then. <laughs> so do it then. And she, if you're wondering where Angie is, she's giving lectures. She got a promotion. So her lecture thing went all the way back down to like being trash. Um, actually, pretty much all her stuff is trash. And now she wants to quit her job, and I don't blame her because she's like, look, I'm pregnant. This is too dang stressful for me. I cannot. And look, girl, I get it. I get it. I really do. Okay, so he's done with that. He wants to be called. No. Sorry, Reese. That is not for you. He's probably going to be self-employed or something like that, even though he has literally done nothing with the inventing skill, because I haven't, I haven't, like, done anything with that. So, I don't know. I really don't know what the heck Reese is going to do with his life. But we'll figure it out. We really will. And Amir rolled these cute wants to travel with Renee. I think that's so adorable. I'm not actually going to have them, like do it but i locked it in for whenever he moves out um hopefully him and renee can get married and have a family and we're just gonna pretend like they travel and stuff like that and it just it it makes me happy just knowing that we've locked that in for him so now that it's after seven let's invite beatrice out and hopefully she accepts and he wants to go to a park I'm hoping that's a park. I really am. Or it says visit the park. So maybe he means like... Yeah, hold on. Let me scratch that up. Oh, well, looks like they're meeting there. Just kidding. Looks like they're meeting there. Okay, well. I guess this is happening now. Bumpja. Look at that. They just swapped out the cars at the right moment. Anyway, before we get too carried away with Amir, I do want... Uh, I want him to, like, feel her tummy and, like, give her more affection so that the baby will come out better. Let's talk to tummy. Hug her. Uh, hold her hands and kiss her a little bit. Okay. Back to Reese. So yeah, no, that did not count as a park. Sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Ask her about her age, even though I think we already knew that. So let's console her. Cancel that. Ask her about her day. See how rich she is. She did not like that. Or did she? No. I don't think she liked that. Consider her attractiveness again. I just want to see if this thing is changing ever or if it just like stays the same for the rest of eternity. Because like, they really confuse me. They really do. Mm -hmm. Oh crap, I deleted how much money she had. I think it was like 45,000 maybe. I don't know. She's not poor. <laughs> nope, he still does not find her attractive at all. That sucks. That sucks. But we'll see what happens uh, later on, like once they become good friends. That'd be very interesting to see. Probably because she has a kid. He's probably like, I do not want to be a stepdad. I do not like that at all. That's kind of a big deal, too, so. Yeah. Hopefully he'll let us cheer her up. Yay. Things about comic books again. Discuss TV shows. Uh, Friendly hug. We just need to get this relationship up, up, up. And his curfew is in an hour. Amazing. <gasps> Liam's back! Liam! Oh my goodness.
goodness, I was not expecting this. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, no, we do not want to enroll him. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I guess we're going to go home after this. That kind of sucks. <laughs> hurry, hurry, because now your brother's home. Aha! Friends. We did it. Get up. You gotta go to work. We did it. Okay. Awesome. So now let's get a good look at Liam. Liam looks exactly. Do you see that, guys? They basically have like the same face. That is nuts. That is nuts. Anywho, let's take him into create a sim real quick. Hey, and here is Amir. I mean, Amir. Every single child to me is just Amir. Here's Liam. Really cute. I actually kind of like this hair on him. I really, really do. So I'm just going to change his clothes. And let's see what we want to give him. I actually think I might do this for him because I think Liam is more of like the cool, um, like popular boy in school. So I think I'm going to give him that. And then his formal Yipso. wear, let's give him the same thing Amir has, but we're going to customize it. Um, if it'll let us. There we go. Let's make it, let's see, maybe we want to give him like a blue, but I want to give him like a funky blue, like, hmm, hmm, I don't know about that, maybe brighter. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, okay. Um, and then his sleepwear, we let's go. see. Just take the shirt off. Take the shoes off, that's fine. Maybe Swimwear, yo. that's fine. Athletic so, wear, so. I think we might see his athletic wear. I think he's athletic. So, just in case, we're going to give him a nice little, like, track suit um, with some tennis shoes. Eh, I don't like those bottoms. They look weird. Do they look weird to you? They look weird to me. So let's just customize this stuff then. Give him the solid color ones. Um, like the blue for him. So let's match it to his shorts and match it to his shoes. And then his outerwear. I don't even Boonark remember dog. what season it is. So I don't even know if we'll see this, but there we go. And let's see what trait he got. Um, I think he got handy. He's a genius, rebellious, handy, and athletic. And that is Liam. Okay, so he's sleepy. We're gonna go ahead and let him just go to sleep. Move this toy out the way. And then let's see, when he comes home, he needs to go straight to sleep again. We need to have the boys like welcome him home and stuff. Uh, as soon as they can, for sure. And then uh, Angie should be having the baby tomorrow. Jeez, I don't know why I just woke her up. That was a complete freaking accident. So now she's gonna get all the way up. Look at that, she wants to have a baby. Well, I guess it's gonna happen for you. It's gonna happen for you. Oh, <sighs> imagine coming home, like imagine how Liam feels coming home from boarding school to like your mom being pregnant and another baby already in the house. <laughs> what a shock. <laughs> anyway, I will pick up actually when uh, Angie will go into labor in the middle of the day tomorrow. So I will pick up then. All right, guys. So actually, 
It's Ensley's birthday too today, so I'm actually gonna age her up like pretty much immediately. Um, just so that the new baby girl can have her crib and then we could just get her a uh, regular big girl bed. <laughs> and I really would prefer them not to share a room, so I might move the baby's crib like into the hallway. <laughs> as crappy as it sounds, but like I do not want her sharing a room. Look at that, the baby's already coming. So much going on in the world, I swear. Take her to the hospital. And, uh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I don't know what the heck we're gonna do about this girl. You know what, we're just gonna delete this cake. I'm just gonna age her up with testing cheats. This is a freaking mess. Liam wants to know how to drive. Okay. Okay. Um, so much going on. They need to go to school, like, immediately. And actually, we need to teleport them there. Because as we saw, if we don't get them to school, like, e immediately, then uh, a bunch of kids, and I mean a bunch of kids, will show up and uh, make it basically impossible for them to go to school. So... Go to school. Go to school. I love how he's in his underwear. That is hilarious. They're all in their underwear. Go to school. Yep, and here comes the complete army of children in this town. See, we got them there at the correct time. I tell ya. I tell ya. Meet new friends, meet new friends, meet new friends. Okay, good. Like, look at this. They just don't stop coming, and she's pregnant. Oh my gosh, okay. Nope. Nope. The overwhelmingness is just absolutely insane. So you, age up. Age up. Here we go, so she's aging up. They're having a baby. I don't even know who to watch. I don't even know where to go. I don't know who to watch. I don't know anything right now. I'm completely clueless and flustered. Hello, welcome to my life. Anyway, uh, hurry, hurry. There she goes. We can pick a trait for her. Uh, no, okay. So I'm thinking that she could be in the science career, so maybe she's already, she loves the outdoors. We can't make her a green thumb or anything right now, so maybe we just make her a vegetarian. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Okay, so now she's a child and is able to uh, get food on her own. No, 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 no. Put that back. Uh, eat some waffles. And then they're at school. They're gonna get their stuff together at school. Meaning their hunger. They're gonna get their hunger up at school, which is fantastic for us. Um, baby girl, crap, I don't even have her name. Oh, hold on, guys. I have to think of a name or go to my little random thing and, and find a name. I'm so flustered. Okay, guys, so my random name app told me that our daughter's name is Molly. That's so cute. Molly Peralta is our second girl, the unexpected sixth child. Let's randomize her traits. She's good and absent-minded. No, we already have an absent-minded sim, or do we? I don't know. We could make her neurotic. Let's make her neurotic. We don't have a neurotic baby. And there's Molly. How cute. I love how it says she's missing work, like she didn't just have a freaking baby. Like, hello. She gave birth, people. It's kind of like a big deal. Okay, back to Ensley. Back to Ensley. And actually, we need to hurry up and uh, move her crib out. I think I'm going to put it... Uh, what? We can put it right there. Awesome. And then we'll just put like the baby stuff just like out here. Um, there's already a costume chest here that I keep literally forgetting that we even own. So that's great. Love that for us. 
Um, also, they need a laundry basket in this room. Flustered the house down. Uh, move this. Put that there. Um, and then let's get her a big girl bed. Um, let's get her... Which bed do we want? This one came with Generations. It's cute and pink. So we'll get her that. And then we'll get her a nightstand, hopefully. Um, I mean, it's green. But uh, it'll work for now. It'll work for now. And then give her some little pink flowers on there. And uh, there we have it, folks. Awesome. So I'm actually going to end this part here because it's already been long enough. And I am super, super flustered. In the next part, we will um, change Ensley's look and just live more crazy life. We will also, 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 um, what will we do? Um, we'll also try to work on more relationships with the boys, especially now that Liam is a teen. He'll be meeting people at school as well. And yeah a bunch of craziness will ensue hopefully we don't have a seventh kid we are completely running out of room we have a baby already in the freaking hallway if that tells you enough um but yeah guys i will see you in the next part be sure to like this video um not try for a baby subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah guys love you so much bye